realizing the supply and demand of them. Hello? Hi, is this Martin Shirley? Yes. Okay, uh, so you're still doing uh, answers on investing and all that stuff, right? Yes. Okay, so uh, I'm in the long, I'm just a, just a kid at a high school in Southern California, and I was wondering if you've ever read The Intelligent Investor? Uh, come on. It's like... It's, so, yeah. Right. Yeah, yes, right. yeah, yeah. So, uh, a lot of people say that it's, you know, like the Holy Bible of investing or whatever, but, you know, I was wondering if you had any, you know, criticisms of it. Sure, yeah, I mean, it's a book, you know, it's written by a guy who never made any money investing. I, I, I mean, there's a hundred criticisms of it. I think the point of books isn't that they dictate to you what to do. It's the point of these books is to open your mind to ideas and you're supposed to think through yourself kind of the pros and cons. Obviously, the very mechanical way of value investing uh, doesn't work in practice. Um, you know, one of the things a lot of people try to do, for instance, is if a company has say $2 a share of cash on its balance sheet and it's trading for a dollar, a lot of people will try to buy that stock and then shut down the company and get the cash back. But the reality okay. is that the amount of time and cost it takes to do that, you'll burn that whole dollar, sometimes even more. Um, okay. And there's so, I don't know, you know, I think that it's just, it's just something that should expand your mind, but it's not like a prescription for success or anything like that. Hello? 